Welcome back to Agilent Technologies video series on care and use of a turbo molecular pump. In today's video, we're going to talk about adding a gas load to the turbo pump itself and monitoring the power, current, and voltage. Also in today's series, we will discuss the use of T-plus monitoring system and its effects on power, current, and voltage. With our turbo pump operating at full speed and in normal conditions without a gas load, we can see that the parameters look very typical. As we introduce a gas load, we notice a rise in pressure and power. As gas load decreases, we watch the controller recover back to normal operation. I want to give you some idea of what happens when we introduce a gas load to the system. And the best way to demonstrate that is by running Agilent's T Plus operating software. Depending on your computer, an RS-232 straight cable or a USB serial converter to an RS-232 straight cable will be necessary. I've connected a USB serial converter cable to the back of the controller and plugged it into my computer. You can get T-Plus software from our website, but of course I have it saved to my laptop so all I need to do is point and click. Here you can see the main T-Plus window showing the Twistor 84FS pump operating parameters, rotational speed, power draw, etc. I'm going to open a sub-window control panel and then we will add a couple of parameters to the graphing section so we can track them over time as we add a gas load to the system. Okay, so now we can see in real time what's happening to the pump in terms of power, current, and temperature. Now, if this was a controlled experiment, I could add these parameters to a data log so that I could export them later into Excel for further data analysis. But for what we are doing today, just the live display will be fine. With this needle valve, I'm introducing a gas load to the system so we can see the effects on the pump parameters. I'm not using a flow meter, so I'll just monitor the pressure and increase the gas flow until the pressure stabilizes in a higher pressure range. So you can see right away the increase in power and current drawn by the pump. Since the pump is doing more work than before, we can expect an increase in bearing temperature. But since temperature is a relatively slow parameter to respond, it may take some time to see this effect. So it looks like these parameters reach steady state. So we can see the true effects that adding the gas load has on the pump. With this gas load, I would recommend adding a cooling fan to the system just to get that temperature down a bit. The 84FS has an upper temperature limit of 65 degrees C. Above that, the controller will shut the pump down, but we want to stay well below that for optimum reliability. At even higher gas loads, water cooling may be necessary. For now, I'm just going to close off my gas inlet valve. You'll see the power and current drop fairly quickly back to their original values. And of course, it will take some time for the temperature to return to that no gas load value we saw at the start of this test. I'm Bartley Carlson for Agilent Technologies. Thank you for watching.